Welcome back to part number three. This is the last part of the drinking glass tutorial and using the start tool co combining with the parametric tools in query parametric. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cap the top off. I'm going to make a new plane and bring it up, bring it to the front view. I want to make sure that's right on. So I think it was 95. Okay, so go ahead and create the plane there and go to the sketch. Click on project to make a line from the edge. Accept that and click fill to cap off the top. So with that there, I'm going to go and make... What should I do now? Uh, I'm going to create a cut, revolve cut on the side here. So switch to front view and go and sketch, click on that plane, go to sketch and I'm going to create a little cut here just like the cut in the um, design of the glass okay so it's like that, I'm going to delete the line in the middle Okay, so it's one here and one on both sides. And I'll give it an angle of how about 45. 45 and bring that closer, so I'll make that 48. And also round, round it off as well. So I'll put a fillet here. Yeah, make that 0.3, maybe 0.3 accept that now I'm going to go create a revolve through the axis and this is what I'm going to do is maybe trim okay revolve and make it a surface accept and I'll just go and fix something. Let's go edit the sketch. Just remove the the outside, accept that, and create a surface. And I'll go in trim, trim. Actually, I'll go cancel that. Uh, I'll I'll do the revolve after. So we still have the sketch there. Sure. So I'll, I'll revolve after I solidify this. So now I'm going to show you the technique to make this a solid. So once you have your part, um, hold Control and select. Select, try select all of the surface. Um, yep. So go ahead and select. I select the, all the bits on the bottom, and merge. So this is not a solid object. It's it's got a blue blue color. Uh, it needs to be a gray color. That means it's a surface. So, I don't know if the bottom one selected. Yep, there you go. Now, uh, click merge here, and the bottom becomes a surface. Now I'm going to go do that for the top. Yep, so you got to select all these surfaces here. Uh, I think there will be a problem for mine because some of these cuts are crossing over each other so they I'm gonna try anyways but um, if you took your time to trim out all these cuts and yeah, it will work fine so 
so select all of that and let's try merge yep I failed but um, yeah don't worry about it but um yeah once you merge the top okay why did that happen all right so just merge the the bottom merge the top and then merge the top and the bottom and then you press solidify and it becomes a gray object once you have your gray object you can start um, you can draw an extrude at the top and extrude down and it becomes comes like this so I create the fuel on the bottom fuel on the top um, yeah let me keep going down where it's solidify so I merge the bits on the bottom merge all the gnome pan and I merge both of them together and use a solidify it turns into a gray color I create an extrude from the top down I add a round on the bottom on the inside I add a round on the lip of the glass and I create a sketch on the neck of the cup and create a revolve remove and finally I just add a round there and once you have that you can start rendering it just give it a material you go to glass material here glass materials material in um, crow parametric is really good uh, looks so realistic so just with a few simple clicks you can create a realistic glass so switch that to part so you can select everything and yeah create a transparent look and here you just go in if you pick a scene I'm gonna use this one and also pick a HDI maps which is really helpful um, I had this hotel hotel HDI maps have a look at my other video on how to create um, how to use HDI maps to create realistic rendering but uh, I'm gonna open that up select and also go in room make sure the floor is uh, click this button to bring it to the bottom and close that it's also a good idea to go in option mo switch model display set the quality to 20 and put on edge quality to very high and put on running click render and it will create a really nice render for you um, that's it everybody that's the tutorial on advanced techniques in um, in cutting feature um, hope everybody hope you find this useful um, it took a lot a lot of time for me to figure it out but there you go i hope you liked the video uh, it would be great if you can share with your friends let me know what you think and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos on crow parametric techniques anyways have a great day everybody uh, see you next time